All right, Risen Drums video lesson series back with another episode. My name is Steve Gould. Still got some Risen Drums. We're still in Hewitt Studios in St. Paul, Minnesota, and things are still cool. We're picking up volume two of the Ted Reed book, Independence Lesson, where you're playing the right hand and reading pages out of that book. So if you haven't seen volume one of that lesson, you should probably go watch that one first and then watch this one. It'll make more sense. Okay, on that volume one lesson, we were playing pages out of the book with the ride cymbal while we played basic 4-4 groove with the kick, snare, and hi-hat, hi-hat foot. Now, what we're going to do is change that pattern because the little bit of independence that you gained from doing all those patterns on the ride over the basic 4-4 groove is in a way contingent on you playing the basic 4-4 groove. So it's not real independence, it's kind of a mask. It's, it's, it's the first step. What you have to do is go back through all the pages again now with a new groove. So I'm going to intro a couple different patterns in this lesson that you should use when uh, going back through the pages. So back to page four and five, we're going to kick this groove off. It's kick on one, snare on two, kick on and of one, or and of two, sorry. Kick on one, snare on two. Kick on and of two, kick on and of three, snare on four. There it is. Eighth notes on the hi-hat foot the whole way. It's going to sound like this. All right. That pattern is different enough from the basic 4-4 groove that going through all these pages again is going to take a good amount of work. You'll have some independence, so it won't be impossible, but it's different enough from that original groove, like I said, that it's, it's, it's worth doing over and getting additional independence that way. I'm going to play the exercise on page 32, which is when you get the uh, eighth note rests and the eighth notes involved with the quarter notes. I'm going to play that exercise with this pattern. All right, so I stopped somewhere on line two because I don't have the whole thing memorized. I, uh, I teach a lot of private drum lessons, and I use this book in all my lessons, so I, I, I know how a lot of these exercises go right at the beginning. Um, so that's why I can play it without even looking at my book. Uh, you'll notice that upon your first few times of reading the lines, you'll be looking so closely at the book that uh, your feel will probably really suffer. You'll be really stiff. It won't sound like a groove. It'll really sound like an exercise. And you want to go over it repeatedly so that you can take it out of that stiff, I'm doing an exercise kind of feel and make it sound like something that you would actually perform. That'll come along um, with, with the memorization of the, of the exercise. You start to remember how the different lines go so you're not actually sight reading it. And that's a good thing. The independence is still something that you're gaining as you do that, but you can take it out of the stiff feel and into the cool feel. All right, next pattern is going to go like this. Um, I'm not even going to tell you what it is with counts. I'll just play it for you, and if you want to look at it, it'll be on the Risen Drums website. Here it goes. All right, I'm going to play that pattern and then read the lines, play the lines from the first uh, little bit of the exercise on page 32 with the eighth note rest and stuff. Here it goes. All right, so you can try these pages in the Ted Reed book with as many different grooves as you can concoct. There will be a few different grooves in addition to the ones that I've spelled out here on the Risen website, and I, I suggest that you work through the book with, these, uh, with all, the, all the grooves that you can think of, the ones on the website and, and ones you can come up with on your own. The more grooves you use as you're doing this, the more solid your independence foundation is becoming. And like I said in volume one of these lessons, independence, limb independence is a massive 
uh, development as a drummer. You're just going to revolutionize the, the, your whole relationship to the instrument will change once you have limb independence. You won't be fighting it anymore. You can make it do whatever you want it to. Um, it's a really cool feeling. So um, the, the final thing that I'll leave you with is additional pages in the book to work on. Uh, now you've got different grooves to use. If you flip from page 32 over to page 34, you'll see, uh, starting with page 34, four full pages of individual lines of additional eighth note rest rhythms. There's some dotted quarter note stuff in there. There's some ties. Um, if you don't know uh, how to read music, that'll be kind of difficult. So maybe um, find uh, some rhythmic notation tutorials to, to check up on or have someone explain that to you. But four full pages of individual lines. And then starting on page 38, you have eight consecutive 40 bar exercises. This is just a ton of sight reading material. And it's really helpful. Just keep moving to a different exercise and trying to sight read the exercise down and using your, your limb independence on your ride to do that. All right, it's tough stuff. Don't get discouraged if it's difficult because you can trust that it will be difficult. Just power through and all the practice that you put into it will pay off. He try you, call my name.